Donald Gordon Buckley disappeared seven decades ago, but has only just been reported missing. His granddaughter is desperate to find out what happened to him. It's one of the strangest missing persons cases we've ever seen. He would be 94 years old if he was alive, and there is a chance he could be alive today. It is extremely difficult. It has its challenges, but it's not impossible. This little photo, I mean, this is all you have right now. It is all I have, and I have hope. 70 years ago, Donald Gordon Buckley was a husband and a father of three. The 24-year-old was working as a labourer, living in this emergency housing settlement in Sydney's west, when his granddaughter, Donna Truscott, says he abandoned his young family. He left in October 1953. They'd had several separations. And by December 1953, they'd gone to court for child support. And by early 1954, a warrant had been issued for his arrest for failing to pay child support, and they could not find him. Donna's dad was also named Donald after his missing father and always wanted to know what happened to his dad. So apparently in the late 70s or early 70s, we don't know exactly, my dad placed an ad in a Sydney paper. And dad had said if anyone knows the whereabouts of Donald Gordon Buckley to come forward. According to what my uncle Peter was told, uh, a gentleman did ring my father and said that my grandfather was found deceased on a riverbank in Moree and he was buried under a fictitious name. But that lead was never properly investigated and now seven decades on, Donna wants to fulfil her dad's dying wish. Why, after 70 years, do you want to know what happened to your grandfather? My dad died of lung cancer and Dad said, I just want to know where he's buried. I want to know where he is. So I started to look. In her search for answers, Donna took a DNA test and uploaded her results to website GEDmatch. But instead of finding her grandfather, Donna's DNA helped identify a murder victim. In June this year, I received an email from Queensland Police. Our family helped identify a homicide victim. Her name was Tanya Lee Glover, and she was a very, very, very distant relative of ours. And helping give someone back their identity who was missing, murdered, laying unknown, that's an experience I don't think you can ever compare anything to. This was a case as well where the DNA was provided for one reason, but answered another question. So which is one here? Detective Chief Inspector yeah, Jason Petruska and his team at Blacktown Police Area Command have taken on the task of finding Donna's missing grandfather after all this time. I've never had something uh, so historic that we've investigated, um, but I think it also shows that there are no limits. We, we will look at uh, matters that are concerning to a family. Finding out what happened to Donald Gordon Buckley won't be easy. Not only has it been 70 years since his disappearance, but in the 1950s there were no security cameras or smartphones or social media profiles. Police only have two photos of Donald to go off, so they're really hoping a member of the public can provide fresh information to help solve this historic mystery. So it's some old school policing that's been done to try and find out what happened to him. He may have changed his complete name and moved on to another life. Um, he may have um, joined the army. He could have gone overseas. There are a number of inquiries that, that obviously we are making and have been made. Donna and police are asking the public to please come forward if they have any information. It's still the public that hold the answer and that's what we're calling on. We just want to know, like, if he's alive, where is he? If he's dead, where is he? What happened? He does deserve to have answers and he deserves to have family who, who want him. What a strange case and hopefully someone knows something that will help give this family closure.